Hi, Grobot owners. Um, I want to share a new finding with you, um, which might have uh, might be only with my firmware um, happening with the F4A27, but maybe it helps some of you out there. And um, this is kind of one of the latest uh, firmwares uh, for the 6 a, 6 a, X versions of this inverter. But it might help some of you out there um, with figuring out how the Grovart deal in a parallel setup with a host and, and slave um, device settings. Yeah. So, so what can I tell you about that? You see this one is my host device and this is the slave device. Yeah. And um, for most of you, this might not have, uh, might not be super interesting. Um, in case, in case um, you want to switch off devices for saving some energy in the night, like I'm planning to do, it's not set up right now. This kind of uh, administration or, or dealing out who is the slave and who is the host is super important. And why is this important? Because, first of all, um, I have a battery bank with 45 kilowatt hours, which is connected with a communication cable you can see here and goes to this inverter. Yeah? And this inverter is the host inverter. So if this is not the host inverter, it's also not a problem for a Grovat setup because Grovat says it makes sense to have it on a host inverter, but uh, it's or it, they recommend to have it on a host inverter, but it's not mandatory. Yeah. So I can take this cable also to a slave device. And as long this setup is completely working like it should be. So the host is on, the slave is on, there's no error on this kind of setup. Everything is fine. Yeah. Everything is super fine and doing its job. But, and here's the big but. What happens if I have this cable, and I tested this before, I don't have a test right now, this, this communication cable from the BMS of the batteries connected to the slave device, and the slave device does like this. Yeah, I can tell you what it's doing. Maybe until the display is on, everything is fine, and it's still communicating so the host inverter gets gets the information from the slave inverter that there is a battery connection on and blah 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 and everything is fine but as soon this slave inverter is getting off and this cable is connected there there is no communication in between those uh, inverters and you will see it right now already here because the host inverter the host sign is getting off because there's already a message coming that the other inverter is is not uh, available anymore and this setup this special setup you see right now is a single grovat setup a single phase single one phase setup yeah so even if the communications cable are connected there this inverter is off is not doing anything yeah it's not transferring uh, battery communication cable information to the host inverter and also if you have uh, if you are using the dry contact uh, as I'm using it's super important to have this dry contact on the host inverter because if the host inverter is off the dry contact will not be used anymore yeah so long long story short again um, it's super important to deal out who is the host and who is the slave device. yeah. And for this I show you right now a, a, a short test. Let's see what's happening here. Usually if the host is the host uh, it stays on this condition as long as there is not a big big issue. yeah. And you can switch um, between the devices. You can, you can manually somehow influence who is the host and who is the slave or, or uh, vice versa. Yeah? So I can tell you in a, in a parallel setup like I have here, the inverter where you went in and doing the last setting. Yeah? 
let's let's change the mode here usually it's like that it's changing then to the host but this is right now a little bit of test it's not as long as it's maybe on it's not doing that okay forget about what I said before this is not this is not uh, but it's synchronizing the information yeah so I don't want to go for I want to go for SPU right now because I'm testing again for SPU and saving it this is still the host yeah good forget about what I said but uh, I, I realized or thought before it's like that if I go to the parameter and set on this uh, parameter which is synchronized between both devices this is the this is this is coming the host but it's not like that it's really not like that much more important or the most important thing is how those inverters boot up in in um, in a parallel setup yeah and let's let's make some testing here and I'll show you right now what's happening so if I'm going here to the host inverter and switching the host inverter off yeah you can see here it's switching over it says new or any any whatever and this one is taking over the host right now yeah and this one will be the slave okay I can switch this back on until uh, before it's shut, shutting down completely and it's coming back and right now the left inverter stays as the host and both inverters taking over power again yeah good I can do the same again and I will do this to show you some some things happening also I will switch off the left inverter right now so I want to change again that the host is the right one which happens right now this is already slave switching it on giving it a few seconds that it uh, kicks in again uh, with power uh, support and here we go so right now we have the host and the slave inverter yeah good so so far we know we can manually switch between slave and host again and usually the inverters stay like that and this one will be the host and this will be the slave until until something special happens yeah and I show you right now something special and I'm wondered why somehow or and I, I don't want to tease you right now and um, I will do right now something uh, unconventional I will switch off my batteries okay switching three off two off one off Oof. and um, what you just saw is one uh, thing which I explained to you in one of my former videos before or in my, in my last video the transfer switch kicked in and took every every uh, bad situation with your wife out of the game because it's transferring to the grid yeah and um, what I'm doing right now I'm switching again back on the batteries and then you will see something happening uh, remember the right inverter was the host and the left inverter was the slave. Okay, battery is coming back on. Inverter starting automatically. Yes, everything is, is on. Yeah, I did not switch off here. And right now we wait for a second and you see, whoa, why is this inverter the host and this inverter is the slave right now? Because before we switch it off, it was that. This was the host and this was the slave and um, there's a super simple simple um, has a super simple uh, 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 explanation for that yeah but it took me oh the transfer switch kicked in again and went back to the uh, PV power yeah or battery power I would say because PV in the evening is not anymore available so um yeah so right now we have a problem and this problem has to be solved so why is this inverter right now the host and this is the slave one and i don't want to tease you that much there's a super short uh 
super short explanation for that. The inverters start up and for you it seems that both inverters get powered at the same time. Yeah, but it's a few milliseconds seconds. This inverter was preferred than this. And why is it like that? And um, I cannot say, uh, promise 100% why it's like that, but I can tell you my, my understanding is this inverter has only a short cable going here to the battery um, yeah, cabinet where all this power coming from the battery. And this inverter has a much longer, maybe maybe 60, 70, 60 to 70 centimeters longer cable or maybe one meter longer cable to this kind of cabinet. And this makes the power or the, 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 the yeah, the power up of the or, or the starting of the inverter delaying a few milliseconds only and exactly these milliseconds are really uh, crucial and say okay the device with the shorter battery cable which is powered up right now is the device which is the host so and this you have to keep in your mind when you uh, plan your setup yeah and when you want to make some things happening with this dry contact down there and uh, and uh, switching off inverters uh, while while working with those yeah while uh, they are powering your house because it's super important that the host inverter has all the connections going in and out battery cable and also the dry contact port yeah so this is the best example i did it completely wrong i'm so i'm sorry it, it, it's funny yeah but i did it completely wrong i did not do this uh, uh um I, I didn't want to do that because usually before there was a third inverter here and this was a three-phase setup blah blah yeah and uh, this one i sold or uh, I give it away to someone else who, who needed it at the time and um, right now I'm only going with a, a parallel setup on one phase but when I connected everything to this inverter I thought this stays the host but it's not the host every time I switch off the um, whole setup I'm powering it up this inverter is the host here yeah there is as far as I understood, there is also a kind of a parameter where you can uh, define what kind of device is the host. But um, I tested around with that a while ago. I cannot exactly tell you anymore what I found out with that. But uh, or I didn't found out anything, but I could tell you that um, the startup procedure has much more a priority to the inverter starting up and giving them a host slave uh, configuration than uh, what you put in there with the addresses yeah so yeah again a long video 30 minutes uh, i hope you learned something about the grower spf 5000 es um if you have questions write a comment i'm happy if you follow me uh, if you want to see more videos on these super cheap and super reliable and unique inverters. I have to say it really unique. I'm, I'm super disappointed. Or I was super disappointed a while ago from their uh, support, especially here in Central Europe, uh, Germany, where I'm located. Um, but to be honest, there are so much people out there with these kind of inverters and they have really unique functionalities you cannot find on other inverters, especially when it comes to the PV, uh, um mppt voltage they can handle and uh, over paneling and uh, so on uh, i have to say what these kind of inverters uh, and and i'm not paid by growbot I'm, I'm really not paid by growbot but what these kind of inverters uh, offer you they are uh, a bargain really a bargain they are super super good quality and uh, yeah. So, nothing to add from my side. Hope you learned something. 
if you have questions write down there and um, with that I'm cut off bye